Welcome to Eucanic. Today here in Eucanic, we have a Jaguar XE 2017. This has the 3.0 liter um, supercharged V6 engine in it. We have our engine codes are on, and we have some engine codes. They're all related to the same thing, but we're gonna, I'm going to show you the engine codes, and I'm actually going to start the vehicle so you can see what the response is and just hear it. So we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up to the vehicle. And make sure that our engine or our ignition is the in the run position, but not the engine not started. So then we're going to select front. We went from the home screen, then we're going to select our vehicle um, that we have the Jaguar, and then uh, the Smart VIN. Hit yes. Diagnostic, and then we want the control modules, and then we're going to pick the powertrain. And we're going to read the codes. Alright, so here's what we have. We have four that are permanent, one that is temporary, and we have a P0123-85, and that is a throttle ped pedal sensor A circuit. We have a high input. Then we have the P0222, and that is the throttle pedal position B circuit input. Then we have the P2135, which is our throttle pedal position sensor A and B voltage. We're having an issue with that voltage. And then we have the P050B-93, and that is about the cold start ignition timing performance. These are all set off. I mean, sometimes they'll be individual, but they're all set off by one common thing on here, and that's our throttle body is not working correctly. So I'm going to start the vehicle. You're going to see how it sounds. And you really can't, it's running in a limp mode. Really, it wouldn't really run. But when you're hitting the fuel pedal and trying to drive, it'll only go up to like 1500, 1700 RPM. And then it drops down to one. And the engine is running very rough. I mean, you can feel the, the vibration inside the vehicle. So that was the way it was running. You couldn't get it above 1700 RPM. And you could tell if you're watching the engine, the engine was running really rough. I mean, you can feel it definitely using the motor mounts to their uh, maximum capability. So it's a throttle body, throttle body sensor, or the whole throttle body sometimes can go bad. Or it could as well be uh, the wiring. So this is what you call drive-by uh, wire because it's electric. When you hit the gas pedal, it sends the electrical sense to your throttle body it opens it so that your vehicle will um, open and give you the power you will want so you know, electric wires can we can have issues that go bad with them but if you, if you rolled it, it you want to start with replacing your throttle body you've checked your voltage you've done all those things that you need to and you need to go through the process of replacing your throttle body I'm going to make the discussion of how you can do that so first you'll pop your hood you'll be able to get um, to remove this cover and once you remove this we now have access and this is where our throttle body is sitting. So we have uh, popped the cover, or we've removed this cover off the top. We have our throttle body, which is right here. Um, we have the, the mechanism, the actuator that is made to open it up. We have the wires that come in here and is what runs the throttle body. So of course you'll want to double check that your wiring isn't all uh, messed up. It runs down along here and back into the, um, the system there. So we need to gain access to be able to remove this throttle body to put a new one on. You're going to need a T30. Sure, we'll double check that. And you're going to want the gasket that goes between the from the throttle body housing to the intake housing. Those are the two main things, as well as a new throttle body or a good used one that has been tested to work. So you've removed that cover. We have a 10 millimeter bolt right here. We have a seven millimeter three on the, the clamp, one on the right side and one on the left side. And then we have one uh, seven millimeter clamp on the intake pipe to the throttle body. Once you remove that bolt and those three, loosen those clamps, you also want to make sure that you disconnect this vacuum line, which is a hard plastic. You squeeze it and you pull it back and you be careful that you try not to break this plastic because those are a pain to come by and generally fairly expensive, these uh, lines here. So then we got that undone. 
and we want to just the throttle body is on there that connection sits on there very tight you just want to kind of rock it up and down and be able to pull it out and we can set that aside so we, we've gotten to this point where we've removed we have access to our throttle body and that's about all we'll need to remove you may need to sometimes remove a few other things but we have access to remove the four bolts and then you could remove the four bolts and then be able to hopefully just remove some wiring up top here and pivot this and bring it up without having to undo any of this water line connection. So you'll need a, 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 it's a T30 to remove these four bolts. Then you remove those four bolts and remove your throttle body. You also want to make sure that you undo the electric connector to be able to replace this. This electric connector here is a little bit of one of those special ones where you need to pull the, the red portion back and then be able to depress the black center there and then you'll be able to make that um, unconnect. So that's how you would remove it and then you would go through the reverse process to put it back on and, and make sure you put the new gasket in there and tighten everything back up. Now when it's all tightened back up, make sure you put your electric connector back together and then put your intake system back on, tighten the bolt, put the whole intake system back on. Tighten all your uh, size seven clamps on. So we go ahead and tighten these seven clamp, tight, tighten those clamps, tighten the clamp here, and make sure that we have everything hooked up here. Go ahead and put your cover on if you do have it. If you don't, you know your vehicle will still run without its decorative cover. And now we can go in with our code reader. Make sure that our um, ignition is in the run position, but the engine not started. So we have the vehicle in the run position and the vehicle not started. And now we can back up one page, clear the codes, hit OK, and then we can read the codes to make sure. And so everything has been cleared. Start the vehicle. So if I start it, you're going to hear it completely different. It's not going to be as rough. So you see that started and that ran completely differently. Um, you get your RPMs when you hit the gas pedal, it's going to go up um, where it needs to be to give you the amount of power that you would like to be able to drive down the road. Um, throttle bodies can go bad or the throttle, the actuators and the electric inside here. And so sometimes your vehicle will not start or if it does start, it'll just run at idle because it won't get any communication from the fuel pedal. So that's how you would replace that if you need to replace that on your Jaguar XC or essentially in it, uh, the vehicles that have the V6 supercharged 3.0 motor in it. Thanks for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.